Hey, superstars, it's your bestie Scott, and welcome to another episode of Marker Doodle Monday. Today, we're jumping in the Wayback Machine to draw one of the greatest pitchers to ever play the game. Some say the greatest, and it would be hard to argue, but today we're drawing pre-war legend Walter Johnson for Dan at Cardboard Underground. I love pre-war. I find that era so fascinating, so I'm always thrilled when somebody asks for a pre-war player piece. With this Marker Doodle Monday series, I have to be a little choosy about who I agree to draw because it's not just for the person who requests the commission, but also for hopefully 25 to 50 more people who might like to have a copy of this in baseball card form as well. So I get it if somebody were to ask me for, I don't know, like Brian Downing or Steve Jeltz. I like my share of weird players too, and I'm happy to do those commissions, but they just wouldn't work for this series. So I, I guess what I'm getting at is that I'm a little curious if this one will sell. I know a few people who will definitely buy it, but Walter Johnson doesn't have that same hobby appeal as like Nolan Ryan or Ken Griffey Jr. And because he's not necessarily that big household name, perhaps a little history lesson is in order. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Walter Johnson, but maybe you aren't so familiar with him. He pitched from 1907 to 1927 with 417 wins, second only to Cy Young. He had over 3,500 strikeouts and a career ERA of 217. He was a two-time MVP and three-time Triple Crown winner, and he was in the inaugural class of the Baseball Hall of Fame. And he had this crazy, crazy sidearm delivery. Sidearmers today aren't known for speed. They weren't necessarily back then either, but his fastball was likely the fastest at that time. I read that it was probably close to 91 miles per hour. Couple that with his long dangly arms and that unusual delivery and he was very hard to hit. So yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty good. And his nickname was Big Train, so Dan asked me to incorporate that into this piece. His other nickname was Barney, but I didn't think a big purple dinosaur was completely appropriate. Um, putting a train behind him required me to uh, bump this up from my usual 5x7 size to 8x10 so that I could get more detail in there. And I have been kind of enjoying working at that size every once in a while. Dan also said that he likes sepia tones, which doesn't necessarily work with my marker palette, but I tried to keep the colors kind of subtle and muted for him. Sales pitch time. This original art is going to Dan, but if you want a custom card with this art, I am happy to sell you one. A limited number of those are available in my Etsy store right now while supplies last. Uh, link is in the description below. And like I said, I am very curious to see how many people are in on this one. I probably would be if this were one of my pre-war guys like Cy Young or Napoleon Lajoie, but that really doesn't mean that much. Um, as always, I really do appreciate all of your support, uh, whether you buy one or not. There's the big train. I mentioned before that I was trying to keep the colors kind of muted, so I was hesitant to add uh, white highlights with the colored pencil like I normally do. But in the end, I felt this really kind of needed it. So there you go. Great idea, Dan. Thanks for asking me to do this one. It was a real treat. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch and we'll see you real soon.